Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have a pretty big reminder for all of you guys as of now. If you basically had the PlayStation, this is probably one of the more important videos you guys could watch throughout the next maybe day or so. And well, if you guys see this video a little bit later on, or if it hits the algorithm or whatever, don't worry about that. You guys could always subscribe if you guys want to check out other videos. But one of the big things I want to let everyone know for the last next few hours is we don't have the craziest most amount of time left to take advantage of the last pricing points for the PlayStation Network. So we have a few different things to go talk about over here because it comes a brand new game, some drama, and as well also some kind of updates and reminders where you can actually maybe go and even cancel your PlayStation Plus and maybe be fine too as well, depending on what games you should go and play and do. So we have a lot of things to go talk about, so if you guys will sit back, relax as we go and talk about it, and as well make sure you guys are subscribed, notifications, Twitter, and Twitter, and down below if you guys want to follow, and of course all the other various links too, like Amazon links as well, are all down below. So in case you guys have missed it, we've had a little bit of a big drama going on where the PlayStation is actually now increasing their price points. We've actually seen a few different things up on the credits and stuff like this, or the same on the actual PS Plus blog itself too, where I want to remind you guys that as of tomorrow, September 6th, the pricing now for all of these 12 month memberships are now going to be being increased. So there's a really big reminder for a lot of you folks out here where on this, the PlayStation Essential is now moving up to $80.79.99. It's also for a lot of Americans. I know a lot of my audience that watches these videos are American or Canadian or like kind of, you know, English speaking. So it's actually going to be a $20 price increase from the current $60. Uh, and uh, you guys will probably understand why it's going to be a big deal because it's literally tomorrow. So this is why it's a big deal if you guys want to upgrade your stuff last second. I want to try to go buy out anything you guys can on the last second because I want you guys to go and basically go and stockpile if you guys want to or at least lock in the year and save the extra 20 or 40 bucks. If I can save quite a few different of you folks out here an extra $20, that's kind of my goal as a YouTube content creator. I want to make sure you guys are happy or informed or whatever. So if you guys need to, depending on when you guys see this video, maybe go and get off your tushies and go and check it on out. So, I'll let you guys know, if, like I said, the PS Also Plus, which is kind of still my opinion, not really necessarily the most worthwhile one, mainly because you only get a few different various things. Like, I, I usually recommend, unless you guys are very hardcore on the PlayStation side, or maybe if you had one, just maybe do it for the next year, and then if you guys are really just got your consoles recently, or maybe have kids, or want to check out the streaming, maybe just do, like, this one year, maybe for the premium or extra, and then cancel after next year, as you guys get, like, the one last day for the price point to be fine. But uh, as you guys can see, the extra is now moving up to 35 dollars a little additional 35 dollars and then the premiums will be booming up another additional 40 dollars it's a lot of money like 20 30 and like 40 bucks that's a pretty decent chuck especially in this day-to-day -day economy like an extra 80 bucks just for the essential a little bit of a bit so if you want if you just want to Today is the last day, just reminders, I made sure, I promised you guys, I'd remind you guys, I'm seeing red threads and tweets about it too as well, so kind of just my own last reminder, make sure you guys do go and lock in right now. Like, if you guys see this video, if you guys care, depending on when you see it, it might be even the next day or on, like, the 8th or whatever, uh, go online, check it out, you can do it on the uh, mobile app, I believe, you can do it on the browser as well, I believe, you guys can also go and just do it in the actual uh, console itself. I'll also maybe put a link down here too as well, because sometimes they do also have the random digital wallet funds too, which you guys want to do the codes you guys can too as well i'll put an amazon link for it i don't think i can even get a kickback from it i believe because it's a digital code i don't think i came out that one too as well but you just want to have the nice little normal digital code make sure you guys also use it for the ps plus this should not not carry over because i think the price but you're basically getting the gift card for the usd not the gift card for like a year of ps plus so i uh, keep that in mind if you guys buy one like three days from now it will not revert back so if you guys are cool and like, cool with that one but i'll put these down below just in case you guys want to go check these on out for the wallet funds you can also redeem it too as well i know some people don't like putting their credit cards online my mom was always like that maybe you're a kid maybe you have to have your parents go do it you give them cash whatever it might be so you guys know this is an all-in option but yeah today is the last day this is a really big warning for all of you guys. Really want you guys to be on top of this. Make sure you guys save the money if you guys can. Go do it right now. There's no real reason not to. But a reminder, we've also been seeing this type of two stuff as well. And I've seen people mention this too. And I just want, I guess I'll just show you guys a lot of red stuff. Where you also don't need to have PS Plus for every single multiplayer game. I want to remind you guys about this. Not every single PlayStation Plus game you, need, you don't need this. So basically for other games such as Apex, Overwatch 2, Rocket League, Fortnite, I do not think you need to have a PS Plus for all of these as well. So they even say, just a reminder for those that are you're upset about the recent PS Plus price hikes, that all free-to-play online games do not require a PSN subscription. I'm not really sure if there's anyone specifically out there that do not, but I think it's more of the idea of, like, say, Fortnite. 
The game itself is already a free-to-play game, and what they want you to do is spend money on the battle passes, buy V-Bucks, or buy all the skins coming out. Same thing, too, as well for things like even like Apex. These are all free-to-play games, or Overwatch. They want you get they want you spending money on the microtransactions rather than anything else, so they probably have a workaround with PlayStation or some legality rules. I have no idea what exactly it is, but a lot of these games you can play without, which I do believe. I do believe that is also true as well. So, uh, but at the same time... There will also have, like, some games do actually have this. Uh, good examples, maybe like Destiny, where you can technically still play Destiny, sort of, but you're also kind of still locked in on the PlayStation Plus to access the stuff as well, because it's like one of those 50-50 things. So, uh, this is why I just kind of give you guys, like, a, I guess, a rambling YouTuber comment. Some games can, so if you guys are canceling your subscription for whatever reason or want to save on funds, whatever, maybe go and just double check before you resubscribe it to see if your game can play. Some games you do need it. We we have had had soft locks for it, so I don't want to say that all of these games are not allowed. So just want to remind you guys, maybe if you guys play a lot of, like, say, Rocket League, if you cancel your subscription or want to see if you guys just choose not to renew it or whatever, maybe go and check and see if you guys can run those games for free. Like I said, it kind of depends. depends on, like, a lot of little various things, too, as well. But, yeah, a lot of folks are saying ever since the PS4 was launched and PS Plus was required to do online, it even put pressure on Microsoft, and they also have opted a lot of free-to-play games not be required to go and have live. Though I do want to say this does kind of default to other games like say um I believe games like 2K or games like, say, like Call of Duty, I do believe you do need to have a PS Plus regardless for those, especially for online play, things like FIFA and stuff. So it kind of depends on what kind of games you play, or if maybe like you're a kid, maybe you can kind of go and swindle up a little bit more, because I know when I was a kid, it was always horrible. I always wanted to have RuneScape subscriptions or Xbox Live, and it was, uh, I always felt like I had to go and fine-tune it and make sure I'm not wasting money and kind of take advantage of all my time for all of these game cards. So, just letting you guys know about that one. And as well, some also even some single-player games have to have like an always online stuff, which also has issues don't get me wrong it's not an end-all be-all solution we guys don't mind me rambling and talking about this one but either way this is why i want you guys to go and check out all the stuff because we have seen this like people have been upset though like if you guys are upset and you guys are canceling do not feel bad i've been seeing a very very large amount of folks out there that have not been happy you have seen a lot of folks out here who don't enjoy you having to spend money whether it's for online play or as well with the extra $20 a month even for Essential, or $20 a month, $20 a year for Essential, people are just not happy with it. You have to go and charge, even if it's only like a dollar or two a month, it still adds up, and it's still kind of lame, and people don't like it overall. And these are also for the longer, bigger periods too as well. So if you guys are also canceling, don't stress. Don't feel bad about that. I think that's totally fine. Uh, I'm going to probably, in all honesty, probably cancel my PS Plus too as well, because even if you guys look at all the free-to-play games, like this is the current subscription, and a lot of people are also upset about this one, where all three of these games are just not good. They were mediocre. They were bad. They were not like 10, 10 out of 10. Saints Row basically went and got shut down the next day. Black Desert also basically, it's like a fun game, sure, don't get me wrong, but like it goes on sales, also been free to play a bunch. And Generation Zero has just been, I don't know, I don't know how this game, like it's a cool game. I've, I've done stuff with them. i played it before. It's just not that crazy. So for someone like me, I'm probably going to end up canceling my PS Plus. I think I'm okay with that now. And now that Starfield, whenever I'm done with my Starfield hype right this second, I'm also going to probably be done with Starfield, like in Game Pass. I'll play have no subscriptions happening in the near future. I may even make a video on that if you guys care about my thoughts on it. But uh, even Nintendo, like I think for me, I don't have any online console games that I feel like playing. Uh, maybe I'll keep Nintendo because it's like three bucks. Like that's not a big deal. But for Game Pass after Starfield, I'm good. I think I play pretty much every game I want to. And I've joined Starfield. I'm gonna probably be playing that and stream that more if you guys want to watch it. My am trying to beat it today. And then same with PS Plus. I just feel like there's no real reason for me. I don't want to go get these downloadable games. And maybe for Call of Duty, uh, if I play that up on PS5 when the new one comes out. Although I almost want to play it up on PC. I'm kind of feeling the PC vibe myself, mainly because I feel like I want to get more use of that when it comes to console gaming, especially if the Activision deal goes through. I'm probably going to be playing most of my Activision games on PC. Anyway, it's already do with Battle.net, Overwatch, Diablo, and all of that. So uh, either way, uh, just last minute reminder, make sure you guys do go and check out and upgrade your stuff. If you guys care, if you guys are primary PlayStation 5 gamers, go and download that on up and make sure you guys update your subscriptions. You basically have a few more hours left, so get it done now. Or as well, if you guys want to cancel, I'm not going to fault to you. Uh, I don't want to make you guys feel bad about saving money or as well if you just want to re-up it whenever you have a chance in the future there should be nothing wrong with that so either go and do the one year now or go and start doing month to month it can kind of go either way we can kind of go and see them. And last but not least, too, as well, Baller's Gate actually did go come out for the PlayStation 5. Looks and feels phenomenal. 97, really, really good initial reviews. I have been playing this up on PC myself quite a few hours in already, and it's overall a good game. So if you guys were on the fence, definitely go check out Baller's Gate. If I had to, I have played a lot of Starfield. I'd probably recommend Baller's Gate over Starfield if I had to pick and choose. But at the same exact time as well, 
I gotta be honest with you guys, Game Pass, do it for a month, check out Starfield, be the main story, see if you like it, and then Ballers get right after. Doesn't seem like a bad trade-off. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. We have the Twitter and Twitch room down below in case you guys want to follow and everything else all in between, too. And I appreciate you guys all so much for watching here in the first place.